Welcome everybody. Hiya. Very nice day that we've got here, the sun shining on St. Helens. A very special welcome to um, the worshipful, the Mayor Andy Bowden. He's just fighting his way he's through. He's just fighting his way through. Dave Watts, our MP. And a very, very special welcome to Beth Tweddle, Olympic <laughs> Chair. We've also got joining us uh, Andy Wilkin from Saints and Emma Smith, who's the world champion trampoline uh, expert. So we've got a lot of important people who want to open your gym for you girls. You're very lucky. We've also got representatives from Gym Nova, uh, the local constabulary, and everybody who's made this building as good as it looks, all the services they've popped along to help as well. And um, special thanks to Julie Hine and to Tom Clark, who are part of our council. I won't have it said that St. Helens Council do not help us. They've definitely done that for us. They've been instrumental excuse me, in helping us gain what we have, the planning permission and everything that goes with getting this building. As you all know, we're 38 years old as the YMCA Gymnastic Club. We've left that behind us and to grow and develop, we've gone and got bigger and better and it's just about to be opened for you. Uh, Mum, who obviously is not here, um, but Mum would have dearly loved to have been here, stood next to somebody who she absolutely adored in gymnastics. Um, so in Mum's memory, that's why this building is the Simpson Centre for Gymnastics. And long may it flourish in St Helens. Girls, you deserve this. Everybody who's helped us achieve this, the mums, uh, the dads, all the volunteers, um, the committee, the fundraising team, everybody you're too numerous for me to individually mention but two people especially my husband mark and my dad mr simpson to you girls they've been instrumental in this building being part of our future so i'd like you to clap them please <laughs> inspirational people like beth are what gymnastics is all about and i hope you take on board the kind words that she'll say to you today learn by it because you know people like Beth um, don't come around very often especially to our parts and it's nice that we've got an absolute champion here and um, so you know take on board her words of wisdom and then apply them to your gymnastics for the rest of your life and um, I do hope you love the centre I know some of you had a quick look around uh, enjoy your day and I'm going to pass you over now to the Mayor and Devoting. Thank you, Jane. Thanks very, very much for the invitation to be here. It's an absolute delight and brilliant to see so many people here today. Uh, I've, I've been told you've all got permission to be off school. <laughs> so that's a relief, our Trinity figures. <laughs> I was panicking when I pulled up. Um, I just want to say a couple of welcomes, really. Firstly, to Beth. I am a little starstruck today, I have to confess. Uh, we have St. Helens produces some absolutely great athletes. This country produces some absolutely fantastic athletes. But I just happen to believe, which is why I jumped at the chance to be here today, that, that Beth is one of the most inspirational, the most fantastic athletes this country has produced. So it's a real honor to be in the company today. So I really want, all I'm going to do is say a few thank yous. Thanks to everyone at the club, the volunteers, the coaches, the parents, the gymnasts themselves. Um, you've already mentioned the council and the work that they've done to support you for what you've achieved. But it's really, it's down to all those people I've just mentioned. Parents, volunteers, coaches, everyone. Working together. There was a dream, as you said. Your mum had a dream. She wanted to see this come to fruition. It has done because of all your hard work. Um, I also wanted to mention your motto as well. Uh, give every chance a chat. Give, give every chance a chat. <laughs> <laughs> your new motto, give every chance a chat. I, I also wanted to mention your old motto. <laughs> give every child a chance. That's what this place is all about. That's what all of us as adults should be all about. Giving young people every opportunity to achieve what they, their dreams, to achieve what they want to do. You cannot have a better motto than that. If everyone does that, the world would be a better place. St. Helens would be a better place. 
you as young gymnasts are very lucky you've got this team of adults around you to support you in what you do. So thank you very much for inviting me today and am I handing over to Beth? <laughs> Nothing like getting put on the spot. Um, firstly, I just want to say thank you for inviting me. I know you keep saying how nice it is for me to be here, but for me, gymnastics has been my life since I was seven years old, and it's given me so many opportunities. And the fact that there's people like yourselves, the council, and all the other people that have helped make this place an opportunity for these youngsters is amazing. I want to see every child have that opportunity. That's my motto as well, so it's great that it kind of fits in. And I just want to say good luck to you. If I had had this opportunity when I was a kid, I would have taken it with every arm, and so luckily I did have it. And who knows, we might have the stars of the future sit sitting here today. So good luck with everything. Parents, a big good luck, because I know exactly what it took for my parents to get me to where I was. But remember all the good times, because you can get so much fun out of gymnastics. So good luck and I hope you have a great time and good luck today. I'm going to now ask um, Andy Bowden and Beth to cut the official ribbon. So cameras at the ready. <laughs> We're just going to, we're just knocking one off of the, the cameras. Before we do it. Can I get <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'd like to officially declare St. Helens Gymnastics Academy open. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 